Good morning, Calvary. Thanks for tuning in for your word for the day today. My name is Robert. It's great to have you join us uh, wherever you're joining from and uh, whatever time of day you're watching. I know these go out bright and early, but uh, maybe you're watching in the evening. Maybe you're watching this uh, after the fact and uh, several days after it aired. Wherever you find this video, hope that it encourages and helps you uh, to better follow Jesus in your day-to-day -day life. And, uh, you know, as I think back on uh, my journey of faith. I think about some of the early days of, of seeking to follow and understand Jesus. Uh, and I think there's some misconceptions and misunderstanding about God's truth that can creep into our life. And one uh, of those for me very early on, probably before I really fully understood what it meant to follow Jesus, was that, uh, that basically God's work and God's portion of uh, being involved in my life kicked in in the afterlife. So basically my life here on earth, that's on me. I do that. God's work kicks in when I die and that's uh, you know his portion in eternity. And I think it's really easy to get to that point because we talk about how our hope for eternity is in God, how uh, we find eternal life in trusting in Jesus. Um, but the problem with that, uh, besides the fact that it's completely unbiblical, uh, is that we can't do life on our own. And when that started to break down for me at that point of like, I'm not good at this. I'm not good at, at handling every single thing on my own and I need help. Uh, and, and that's what led me to a place of understanding, man, there's got to be more in following God than just the thing that comes at the end of my life. And in that process of, of discovery, I came across Psalm 46. And uh, it's where we're going to be at today as we continue our look through the book of Psalms. And here's what the first three verses says. It says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and form, though the mountains tremble at the swelling. It says we won't be afraid because God is our very present help in uh, trouble. I learned this in a different translation. I heard it, a very present help in times of trouble, uh, and it's still in there to an extent. But, but as I, I learned about uh, following God, I learned that He was a present help in my time of trouble. It wasn't that, that I just figured out life here and then I, I basically moved into to His territory in the afterlife, but, but that God wanted to be a part of my every single day, every single moment of my life, and He wanted to do that in a, a helpful way in a way of, of encouraging and guiding and helping and lifting me up. But sometimes we don't feel that. And I don't know about you, but I've had plenty of moments in my life and I've, I've counseled others through plenty of moments where they go, man, life is really tragic or difficult or hard right now. And they, we utter the words, where's God in the midst of this? And, and it, Psalm 46 is saying that God is our very present help in times of trouble. Why don't we feel this more? Well, I think because we don't do what we're told to do in verse 10. If you uh, look down or flip over, depending on uh, how you're looking at this, and hope you, hopefully your pages are thicker than mine to get there. Verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. Sometimes we're so busy trying to do life on our own and trying to handle everything that we never do what it says to do in verse 10. And just be still. And reflect on the fact that God is good, that He is real, He is powerful, He is the one who rules over everything. And in that, He has the power to be our very present help in times of trouble. See, if, if we don't ever stop to reflect on that, then, then we, we are so busy, we miss the fact that He is present in our life. That He wants to be that, that guiding, that, that truth, that assistance, that that director of the, the very moments of our life that we live. So today, let me encourage you to find some time to be still, to shut the, the noise and the distractions off, whatever you fill the air of your life with, whether that's uh, visual stuff of the news or TV or, or videos or it's podcasts and music and news, shut it off and find a few moments to just be still and reflect on the ways that God has showed up, the ways that, that He is good, and realize in that that He wants to be a very present help in your times, whether those are times of triumph or tragedy, whether those are in a place of difficulty or rejoicing, He wants to be there in the midst of it, waiting for you to worship Him and submit to Him and follow His leadership in every single moment. So I pray that you would be still, 
and that you would realize that God is good. Have a great day, Calvary. We'll see you next time.